Hi, I'm Leah. I'm 25. I live in Dallas, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do up in Dallas for a living? I am a lead funeral director at a modest-sized funeral home owned by a larger corporation. You're touching the bodies? What is a lead A little bit of both. We have kind of a unique situation where we don't do all of the scientific mortuary part of things, but Mm -hmm. I do get all of our folks dressed. I do hair and makeup. Folks dressed. Mm -hmm. The the no longer existing folks. Yes. Oh, yes. So get Mm. folks dressed, do hair and makeup, get them in their caskets and ready to go. Got to be nice and cute for your funeral. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How much do you make in this? Right now, I make something like twenty one sixty. I don't know. It was twenty one, and then Wait, I what? Uh, your hourly? Is that what you said? Or twenty one hundred? Oh, uh, twenty one dollars and I think it's sixty something cents was my raise this year. You started at twenty one, and then you got up sixty cents for being a director. Okay. Um, how many hours a week do you work? Minimum forty. So Minimum forty, and yes. is there overtime? Technically. Not supposed to get overtime because corporate doesn't like overtime. Oh, it's a big corporate. Okay, Mm -hmm. so it's not like a small operation. Okay. If I ever uh, have a little uh, death in my young age, can you make sure I look absolutely gorgeous in my casket? Absolutely. Yeah, we'll stream it on YouTube for everyone. So you got to make me look pretty. Sure. Thank you. Okay, well, let me see here then. So I had income payroll 2,559. Does that sound about right? For monthly? Mm-hmm. Hitting within the most recent month? Yeah. Okay. So with that, what did you spend? What was your number? 2,559 came in. What did you spend? No idea off the top it's of It always head. stumps people, which is interesting because we've been asking it for a while. So what do you think you spent? Well, I know there was at least about, what, 14 on rent and utilities? So 14. Your rent's 14? My rent's expensive is for you. One, two, three, four, most of the time. 1,234 was like uh, the average, I want to say. It's pretty expensive in. for your income. Yeah. Wow, working great. overtime. Well, why do you live in such an expensive place? That's 48% of your net. So I was really rushed on finding somewhere and by who? Yourself? Situation. What? Uh, Because I was living in a house, renting a house with my ex-husband, and our lease was up in December. 25? Wow. Okay. And I needed somewhere to go. Was this last year? Yeah, very end of last year. What was so rushing about it? Was it getting sketch? Or like, what was happening? The lease was up, and I couldn't afford to pay for the house alone. Well, the lease was going to be up regardless. You guys just, when did you guys know you were ending things? November. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You said it ended it in in September. December. Oh, December. So you had a month about? Mm -hmm. Okay. People find apartments in a month. If you look like, if you look crazy, that that doesn't sound, I'm sure, I'm I'm sure life was crazy through the divorce and everything, but I've found many rents for myself within a month's time, a few weeks time. You know, I thought you were talking like a week because that would be rushed, but- it was like the application process is usually pretty damn quick and it was, but at the same time, it was the first time I have this, is the first time I've lived on my own, on my own and making sure that single young woman in Dallas, there's a lot of Dallas that you don't want to live in and be sure single young woman. Alone. And do you know the areas for the most part? Well, I'm, there you go. Then you know to avoid them. So, but at the same time, Dallas is expensive. I don't know what the average rent is, but in general, Dallas is expensive. And my biggest- How many bedrooms in your place currently? One. one bed, one bath? Yes. Washer, dryer hookups was my biggest thing. I assume that comes in most in a, uh, well, depending on where you're living. The hookups? Mm-hmm. In a, in a place like Dallas, though, where it's just big urban sprawl? Nope. Because I know more density is less likely. No, they want, or a lot of the places don't have hookups. They want you to use their- Laundry facilities. Oh, in in apartment yeah. facilities. Okay. Well, okay. I was thinking more like having to leave and go to like a laundry mat because that's no. a lot less rare today. Uh. Well, yeah. The median rent in Dallas for one bed, one bath is one thousand two hundred fifty eight. So you're certainly well above that. 
even if the upper echelon of 1,400, you're even above that. So I think, I mean, you're probably, you're probably pretty picky about what you're looking for. So how long were you married? November of 21 through December of 23. Okay. That's pretty quick. Uh, What happened? A lot of me saying, okay, I'll be happy when I'll be happy when I'll be happy when. Okay. What was the when and what? First win was I'll be happy when I graduate mortuary school. I'll be happy when we get engaged. I'll be happy when we get married. Why were you not happy? Stressed. I couldn't. I was so very stressed. What were you stressed about? A lot of it was finances. A lot of it is general security. I grew up not like physical safety and security. Financial? But a lot of it. A lot of financial. A lot of long term plan. Because I'm the kind of person that I need some kind of plan. I need some kind of direction. And I kept hoping that he was going to get his stuff together. And at the time that it was the perfect opportunity for him to get his stuff together, he had everything laid out in front of him. And he was taking it, but leaving me behind. All right. Okay. Was this a big dramatic ending? Dramatic as nobody else saw it coming, but it was not like a knockout, drawout brawl. It was, he had seen me pulling away and. Yeah, it's just, you still, even with a month, I mean, you got an apartment that was more, well more than the median in Dallas and obviously more than you could afford because that was 49, 48% of your net income. Are are you, is it just you there right now? now, I'm the only one who's supporting it financially. What does that mean? Do, is there someone else there? My now boyfriend lives with me. Okay. Why, why isn't he contributing to rent if he's living there? So he moved down from Indiana. Okay. And when he moved down, it was with the intentions of he had burnt himself out and just take a little bit of time, What's take a age? break. 42. Ooh. Okay. Per, it, you, you know, I don't give. Listen, <laughs> there's there's a there's a natural shock that comes with it, but it's honestly because of Twitter. It, they've they've made everything sound so extreme. You're an adult. I don't give a. F- this is I I must be Twitter brained, <laughs> like where I have to have a reaction to everything about everyone's adult choices. Whatever. Okay, you live your life. I don't give a. F- but he moved down here. He with the intention of he was going to take a little bit of break before figuring out, you know what he was going to do down here. It was a little weird that a 40 year old is not working, but it was, we knew that was going to happen. We knew Uh, that was going to happen. Okay. How long has he been here? End of April. Okay. How long did we agree? He would not be working. There was not necessarily like an agreement, but Uh there is the factor that beginning of July, uh, I ended up having to take him to the emergency room. Because what we thought was like really bad flu, maybe pneumonia at the worst, turned out to be a mass in his chest. 